Hello YouTube, my name is Tyler Rucker and welcome back to another screencast tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I will be going over vector masks in Adobe Photoshop. If I was going to put a vector mask in my own words, I would say it is basically a mask on an object that makes the object completely resizable so that the object does not pixelate. Um, that's in my own words, and um, I'm sure all of you background makers and whatnot or if you're a uh, professional graphic designer or something of the sorts have seen vector masks like if you create a rectangle or do something with the pen tool it creates what's called a path and uh, I'll be getting into what paths are and how to edit them with the sub selection tool and something and some things about tangent ha handles and whatnot so anyway uh, let's get started and let us open up Adobe Photoshop I'm just going to create a new document at 1920 by 1080. Alright. Alright, then let me get this full screen. And let me get a dark gray rectangle in here. And as you can see, this has a vector mask, but I'm going to uh, rasterize it so that we, it just becomes our background layer. Alright, so now that we have our background layer, what we're going to do is first I'm going to teach you about vector masks. So if we grab our um, our shape tool, I'm going to select the, uh, the rounded rectangle tool and up here um, you can see like width paths uh, fill pixels and shape layers. We're going to be on shape layers for the uh, vector mask. So I'm just going to create a square and let me change the opacity, not the opacity, the color of that to white and I actually will uh, give it a little bit more of a curve. Alright, there we go. Alright, so let's put that up to white and put rectangle Alright, so right here we have a, um, a shape, and this is a simple rounded rectangle uh, with a vector mask on it. And the cool thing about vector masks is that if we click on them, hold down shift, and have our shape tool selected, we get a little plus sign next to the um, additive tool, and we can actually add to it. Um, the cool thing about this is you can change the color of all of the shapes in the mask um, at the same time without having to apply certain layer styles um, to all of the um, all of the uh, to a bunch of different layers and uh, it's really useful uh, so right now I'm just creating some uh, some drop shadow give it a little bit um, just kinda put some perspective on the layers and I think that's good we'll lower the opacity on that give it a quick stroke and actually oh, yeah that's good alright so it's just got a, a drop shadow on it and the cool thing about these um, vector masks is that if we hit our sub selection tool or otherwise uh, known as the uh, direct selection tool um, it depends if you're working in like Adobe Fireworks or Photoshop um, it's the same tool so if we cl click our bottom shape within the same mask we can actually move the mask over sorry I'm having issues yeah we can actually move it anywhere in the shape and it will still have those properties um, within, within the shape and uh, when I did click on this you see these um, these dots these are what what are called um, uh, points in a path a path is a line that is uh, created like this and if you if I move these points around it will alter the uh, the direction of the shape. So I'm just going to go around to that and 
let's um, the way I move this is I just hit control T uh, for transform and it allows me to just grab it um, so if I wanted to create another exact same size shape I just hit uh, make sure we had the shape selected hit c command or control C it depends on which operating system and command or control V and I should oops actually you know I'm not going to do that um, so what we one another thing we can do is uh, if we create a new layer with a circle in it and we'll make this white um, we may want uh, this circle to be a part of this vector mask um, in order to do something or some um, it might be just it might be in the same general area but on a different layer so that gives your uh, that makes your layers palette a little bit crowded so what we can do is make sure we have our mask selected hit control C hide this go here and hit control V and it now also has the um, applied, applied layer styles and um, is now in the uh, in our vector mask so we can delete this layer um, what you saw here when I clicked on it with the uh, direct selection tool was it, what is called a tangent handle. Um, these are very common if you're using the pen tool uh, for like adjusting um, curves and whatnot. These basically allow you to edit the shape further than what it would normally be editable. So right here I'm just creating a blob like shape. And actually, if we uh, grab the pen tool, wherever it is, uh, right here, we can actually um, add to it so that we have another point in there. And we can drag that down, change up the tangent handles so that we now have this interesting curve. Um, there's a lot we can do with this, and that actually kind of looks like a tooth. So I just made a tooth out of a circle without even trying. So there's a lot you can do with this stuff. And um, just play around with it. Uh, find settings that you like. Um, once you do find a setting that you like. Um, over here, if you're in Adobe Photoshop CS5, I'm not quite sure about CS4. Um, you have what are called workspaces. And you've got a design, essentials, painting, photography photography 3d motion uh, new in CS5 and you can actually create a new workspace that is suit to you that is fit to your um, your preferences and you can actually um, like I have the workspace right now it's just called Tyler so that's that um, so you can create these workspaces and like I've got my swatches, my mini bridge history. Uh, mini bridge is new to Adobe Photoshop CS5. Um, bridge is a CS5 program that um, allows you to browse through your files quickly and um, you can actually uh, like go to the desktop, go into one of my work folders drag in something that I'm working on um, you don't you guys don't need to see that that's for a different project um, let's see something else so let's go back to the desktop and go into illustration and the little character guy and actually I can just drag it onto here and because I created that in Adobe Fireworks it asked me what did I wanted to do um, so yeah, so there's a lot you can do with Adobe Photoshop CS5 and the uh, vectors. Um, you can I really highly recommend you to customize your workspace to your fit. Um, the I've got my Tyler workspace. You could have your dinosaur workspace, whatever. Um, so that's pretty much it for my little tutorial of the day. Um, in my next tutorial, we will be going over. 
uh, customizable vector shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Um, I'm kind of keeping the uh, vector uh, the vector theme with throughout the next uh, few tutorials. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, my name is Tyler Record. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Right, peace out.